Today on Morning Smart, I want to talk to you about the fear of fear. And the reason I want to talk to you about this is because this idea just like clicked for me. You know when you like when you have an idea and you understand it, and you're like, oh, you read it in a book, and you're like, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is again. You hear quotes on it, and you're like, that's cool. But it doesn't like click for you. And you finally get that like, oh my gosh, I get it. I understand it. I recently made that transition with this idea of the only thing you have to fear is fear itself. And so of course I had to make a video to talk about it because ask anybody when you think about it, fear really is the biggest thing that holds anybody back. I was chilling with my friend Andy the other day and we were having a heart to heart, and I was asking, I was like, dude, why aren't you going after that? goal or that dream or that passion or that life that you want and it always comes down to fear. It always comes down to the fear of not being good enough or not having the money to do it or the skill or the talent or the fear of criticism or the fear of failing. And so with that idea, it's almost like I don't want to be afraid of anything because fear really is that that barrier and that distraction that holds you back from doing and creating what you really want. Because we all know what it's like when you're presented with that choice between desire and fear, between going up and asking that guy out, asking that girl out and chickening out, between going up to sing karaoke and just sitting at your table sipping on your little drink, between going going all in and taking the safe route and you end up taking the safe route and you end up choosing fear and I'm guilty that I've done that a million times but when you choose fear it's like a weed and you're making room for that weed to grow in your mind and the more you choose it the more it can like take root and hold you back so instead of letting fear control you and stop you start attacking your fears use fear as like a compass of like where do I go next what do I conquer next what do I tackle next if you're afraid to do something make yourself do it and I'm not talking about like oh I'm afraid of nuclear waste like I'm gonna go take a bath in it. <laughs> I'm talking about like if you're afraid to do the talent show because you're worried about what other people are going to think of you, go out and do the talent show. If you're afraid of go out in your bikini but you love to go to the beach but you're afraid of being judged, be like, I'm fucking fabulous. I'm going to rock this shit. If you're afraid of taking that dream and that idea that's been sitting in the back of your mind because you're afraid of failing, go out and take the first step to make it happen. Start attacking your fears because when you do that, it feels really good. It's like you're you're building up your courage and your belief and your faith and your power and your strength. And so that's what I started doing and that's what I share with you and that's what I talked about today. Start attacking your fears and watch them disappear. The only thing you have to fear is fear itself. See ya.